Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to the boat gang. All right, we got the Oxtein Marine Oxy Digger out here at the park pond. Uh, this is Oxtein's 34 inch fully assembled, almost ready to run wooden outrigger kit. Okay, it comes pretty much ready to go. Just slide your boom tubes on, slide your boom tubes together, throw your receiver in, battery, you're ready to go. Okay, this is its maiden run. Maiden run. We did a durability test yesterday, but we couldn't really see how the boat handled. So I'm really excited, you guys. Super excited. So stick around. Big B, we're ironclad RC. So the boat actually comes with a Oxteen branded 4074, 2000 kV motor, 6S capable, uh, an Oxteen branded Hobby Wing 180, okay, 180 continuous, 180 burst, all right. Uh, with the battery tray, you actually need to come up with a with a good mounting position for your batteries. Uh, we're going to be running a SMC DV Extreme 6300, 135C, and a 6000, 100C, uh, 6S. Okay, this boat's three to 6S capable. All right, I'm basically going to slide my batteries in like so, and then we're going to use a couple pieces of jam foam beside it so the battery doesn't move around. And then I cut this little composite. I got a couple little notches cut out right here so we can just kind of wedge that in there so the battery don't lift up and knock our hatch off okay uh basically the same thing with my connectors little little composite connector hold down so that this stuff don't raise up and put pressure on the hatch gonna be running the 4519 stock propeller for the first couple runs we may do a prop change who knows let's get it i'm gonna get everything taped up so it probably needs to do some trimming. It looks like it's wanting to pull to the right already. So I'm going to go with some left trim. Okay, it's pulling to the left. We'll go around this group of trees right here. And then we'll do that side once that guy's done fishing. We got 4S in it. I got the GPS on it. Okay, so I'm going to turn my travel up just a touch. I've got it on... 86 and 76 let's go let's go 100 on both 98 100 oh wow wow all right so i went too much left trim get her trimmed out so i made him run on some slick water couldn't really see the boat running for our durability test so oh man she gets right up on plane that's pretty nice Ooh, 4S. I am so nervous here with these trees. Hopefully I can keep the boat in one piece. Nice, very controllable. Very, very controllable. Okay, so okay so when i let off the throttle it's turning to the left so i'm gonna give it some right trim probably need to adjust those boom tubes a little bit you know but wow right out the box a basic basic setup is running nice nice and solid no bounce no odd handling characteristics we can really open it up on that other side wow solid solid oh boy oh boy all right so let's check our left turn if i can here so our left turn we got left turn we got really good right turn, which which makes a rigger stand out from an ordinary boat. You know, they got a nice big turn fin on it, and they uh, they really hook hard in a turn. If I can get it a groove going here, you guys will be able to see what exactly what I'm talking about. Whew, 
Wee. Woo wee. Shoo wee. Get it, boy. Wow. This is only 4S. Like I said, I got the GPS in it. She's hooking in, hooking in on rails, baby. Got a little bit of tuning to do, which I kind of figured I would, you know. But other than other than a little bit of tuning, the boat's performing great. If I had uh, if I had the balls, I would keep it wide open, wide open, wide open, wide open. Wide open, wide open, and a turn. She's hooking. Pretty impressed. All right, so let's bring it in. We'll go check temps. Okay. Okay, so hopefully you guys are in the shot. Let's take the tape off here. I taped up both hatches separately, so I'll probably just go into this forward hatch to conserve on tape, and we'll try to shoot that motor from the forward hatch. We'll check for water. Ooh. 89 degrees so we can definitely prop up can you guys see that 89 on the speed control the motor 116 116 the wires 95 connectors 126 those are eight millimeter bullets okay 152 wait what was that oh 100 104 111's our highest temp 111 is our highest temp. Okay, battery connectors, 112. Wow, wow, that's an SMC DV Extreme 6300. So um, let's try it on 6S, kind of nervous. <laughs> um, I'm excited, I got the GPS in, I forgot to check it a while ago, so uh, we'll, we'll see what it does on 6S. All right, I'm gonna scare these geese over so they don't come over here. 6S. <laughs> Baby goose, he don't know which way to go. Okay, so we got six S in it. Holy moly. Wow, that opened it up. Pond's not big enough for six S. This is a four S pond. Ooh. Whoa, holy cow. Woo, gonna have to do short burst. I'm gonna see if I can get a little speed pass in real quick. Oh, the geese are out of the way, so. Wow, so she's wanting to hook to the right a little bit. Definitely got some, uh, some tuning to do on those sponsons. That's just my fault for, uh, I think it's got, I think it's got a little bit of toe out. I want to say it's got some toe out, so. I'm going to have to correct that. We might do that here in a second. Okay, so get a little speed pass. Going to take it easy. Not familiar with the boat yet. Woo, she was moving. She was moving. It's a heavy battery in here. I could feel it. I could feel the weight. Wow. Oh my God. If you guys don't get this boat, oh man. Oh man. Ooh. My heart's just freaking pounding, boys. Oh my God. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Oh, I could just imagine what it's going to do with that 5300. And a, and a prop change. Got to be more freaking careful, boy. That's exactly what I'm doing, being careful. So you get this boat, you need to make sure you got the area to run it, you know? Big body of water. Decent body of water. Especially if you want to do a speed run with it. 
Yeah, she's got a little tuning. We got a little tuning to do, but I'm just gonna run it like it is. We're gonna we're gonna spend some time on it. You know, we'll spend some time on it. I got some extra boom tubes on order because uh, I recommend. I recommend if you guys get this boat, might as well uh, go ahead and get you a set of boom tubes to go with it. Think of it as a as an RC car control arm. You know, they uh, at speed and a crash, or you crash the boat. <laughs> They could break, you know. Not saying they will, but it's, it's a replaceable part, you know. Oh, I want to open it up in, a, in an oval so bad. <laughs> Got to be more careful. So let's see how much trim I've got on this rudder. Uh, so it's at negative four here. Okay. Oh, that's what it was. We broke a prop blade, you guys. That thing's turning some serious RPM. I could have hit a turtle, I don't know, or debris, but I noticed a, a, a difference in sound and a sag in speed. So I pulled the boat out and we broke a prop. <laughs> I really didn't hear any vibrations okay which tells me that this propeller is extremely extremely thin you guys see the how thin it is okay the the, the leading edge is almost as thick <laughs> as the trailing edge okay so consider this prop uh just to get you started prop kind of like a Traxxas rustler and the tires to go along with it you get about a week or two out of it and you have to replace them and upgrade them so if you're going to get the boat might as well get you a prop to go with it you know so i put a 645 octura on here i don't know if that's going to be a good prop it's actually cut down to a 642 um i actually have some new props on the way I'm pretty excited about that Whoa, whoa, she wants to prop steer big time with that one. Woo, yeah, I took the stock prop off. Wow. Good night, boy. Gotta do it, quick burst. Okay, you guys get this boat. You need to make sure you got a pond big enough to run it. <laughs> you know? It's going to take some uh, some water to get this thing stretched out. Gee! <laughs> She's wanting to pull to the right some. Like I said, this is just an initial tune, okay? Rocket ship. I got the GPS in there. Hopefully it stays on. Damn, son out you'll need the boom tubes but it, you know something happens you break one because it does happen you know you'll have a you'll have an extra set man i'm impressed with this boat you guys i really am freaking heart pounding son dang <laughs> very controllable very very controllable man we might have us an 80 mile an hour boat right here 90 mile an hour boat with a right prop and a battery Get right out the freaking box y'all right out the box turn got a little bounce on the transom there uh, when I get on it hard might be due to my strut angle um, I actually did notice this I'm just uh, I'm just telling you guys how it is I'm running the boat Bill sent this boat to me to test okay and to review and that's what I'm doing I'm reviewing the boat okay so I, I did notice this you guys I've got this strut 
like tighten down as hard as I can get it without breaking the screw and um, we got a little bit of play in our in our in our strut which isn't a big deal um, I think I got a saw for that which we'll go over in a future video but um, that could attribute to some of the bounce it has and and this more aggressive prop okay uh, that could be causing it to prop walk and, and have that little bit of bounce uh, when I get on it real hard so let me tighten this prop down because I don't want to lose it this thing's absolutely amazing there's some upgrades we can do to it to make it better you know uh, but out the box I, I don't think you can ask for a better freaking ready to run no kidding three four six s capable okay really the only thing i think like i said you just got to get you a, a upgrade prop for it that stock prop real thin really thin man man she's just holding down boy she is just holding down over those little ripples just as pretty as you ever want to see got a little rain right here got a good thing right here bill it's it's actually race race legal okay it's legal in a race hydro class racing they got whole whole uh whole leagues for this Yo! oh my heart dropped Full trigger. That curved turn fin hook, boy. Which, by the way, you get two of them. All right, let's bring her in. Let's go check temps. Let's go check temps here. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay. Man, it's a head turner, you guys. I had a few people behind me watching the boat, man. All right, so let's check this bad boy out here. We'll get a we'll get a speed before I unplug it because I have it hardwired into my receiver. 6S with an aggressive prop, 140 on the motor. The ESC is cool. 102. The battery, the battery is almost hotter than the motor. We got a on the back of the motor, which is usually the hottest part. 141 somewhere. The 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 wires 139 everything's within operating range and that's a big prop six pitch okay it's a big boy prop so let's see if i can get this out without resetting it oh it cut off man i had mentioned that this boat is kind of for the the expert you know um but i really think i really think a, a, a dedicated beginner that's willing to learn and uh you know learn about their boat I really think a beginner could get this kit right here and probably make something of it because hell it took me a couple hours to put it together i just put a basic tune on it nothing crazy make sure the sponsons were up in line with the tub and uh i think i think a novice or a beginner could get this boat and make something of it you know right out the box the electronics seem good you know i got a little bit of tuning myself but i mean hell a beginner would be happy with this setup right here with the way it's performing right now it's got a little hop in the turn because i gotta put a little angle on my turn spin you know or move it forward or back i think it's great i think it's a great offering you can't really get a wood rigger unless you unless you build it you know that's really the only way you can get a wooden outrigger ready to go build it uh yeah i think it's awesome Got a good left turn for dodging obstacles. All right, so it's starting to rain. Let's go check temps. I'll let you guys go. I ran four sets of packs through it. Had some tape peel up right here. Probably be some water in it. There hadn't been any water in it the whole the whole run. I actually ran four sets of packs through it today. Four sets without issue. The only issue I had was the prop. The stock propeller broke. All right, so let's get a 4S temp all the way around. 93 on the back 100 on the front esc 87 like it hadn't even been run wires 149 it's got plenty of tuning options you could put uh, 
this turn fin, the right turn fin on. You can put a turn fin on the left. You can run both turn fins if that's what floats your boat. You can run no turn fin with this boat. Uh, it's got a big battery compartment. You can basically put any freaking size battery you want to a certain extent. I think it's 155 millimeters long uh, battery compartment from here to here, 155, and then the width, of course, you gotta figure that out. But, um, oh man, temps were nice and cool. You know, I, I do have a little bit of water, just a couple drops, only because I've run literally four sets of packs through this thing, four sets. I recommend it. Let me quit jacking my jaws. Video is probably long enough. We'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the, the long made and run video. We'll see you next time. Woo, doggy.